Alrighty guys, looky here what I found. In the tree in the front yard. So, I've got a, a solution for them right here. If I can hit it, we're gonna give it a try. I'll leave the camera here and run like heck if I have to. Where are we at? Zoom this in. Oh, there it is. You can see him around there. It's almost dark. Let me kick this leg up just a hair. All right, let's give it a try. See if we can get rid of these buggers and make them go somewhere else. Preferably, preferably out of the front yard. Whew. Took off a tree limb. I got him buzzing. They don't see me yet. I might have to run. Ooh, I hit her that time. Ooh, hit her again. Hit her again. Oh, I went clean through. I heard the rock hit on the other side of the road. Oh, just to the right. Just over top. Might have to go get some more rocks. Hit it again. Trimming a tree in the process. Oh, missed. Ooh, got stung. That stung. Didn't see him coming. I don't know where he come from. All right. Oh, time to go. <laughs> time to go. We'll come back after dark. Yep, sucker snuck up and got me right there. I didn't even see him coming. Didn't even see him swarming around me. He just got lucky. I hit him a few good times. Good probably four or five into that nest. So. Let's see if I can see him buzzing around up there. Yeah, they're ticked off. Let me get some more rocks and maybe I'll shoot from this angle over here a little farther away. All right, now let's try this again. I have to keep a closer eye out this time so I don't get stung again. I'm a little farther away. Ooh, just over top. I 
And they're buzzing. And now I gotta go repair my slingshot. It come apart on me. All right, I'm not sure how many shots I can get in before this slingshot comes apart again. But we're gonna give her a try. Oh, way off. But they hear that go whizzing by, it pisses them off. And it came apart. Doggone it. Well, I guess we'll have to figure out something else. Yeah, they're not too happy I shot a bunch of holes in their nest. But this slingshot's not gonna work. Not with not without setting after me having to wet it and uh, put it back together. Well, I hope I got enough battery left in here. And I hope you guys aren't allergic to bees. Because we're going to hit them with a 2 by 4 I got stung twice. Well, stung again, I should say, second time. Yeah. Can't see them from here. Right there. All right, they want to make war, we'll give them war. Okay, this is the gunpowder that I made. It was wet, it's been wet for a couple of months. So I don't even know how well this stuff's gonna work. Um, I transported it up here to Michigan, wet with water, soaked down in just a little bucket. And I'm trying to grind it down dry it out finally got a little bit of sun after what four days of rain so I'm just trying to grind this down I never finished this gunpowder it's something I never finished I got mixed together and ground it a little bit but never got to really work with it so it's a unfinished batch so I am trying to finish it, at least a little bit of it, so I can uh, get rid of that bee's nest. I don't know if I'm going to finish this tonight or not, but the hood of my Jeep, even though it's not super sunny out, you can see the sun a little bit, but it's cloudy. It is cloudy, but the, the hood of my Jeep is probably 100 and... 80 to 200 degrees it's pretty hot I've been in an oven that was that ran around 180 and that's probably not as hot as the hood of this Jeep is even with partial Sun so I'm gonna keep grinding on this I picked a nice dry stick so I'm not re moistening the gunpowder I'm gonna keep grinding on this for a little bit and I'm gonna pack the charge or how I'm gonna make the charge, a shaped charge. I'll show you that here in a second as soon as I get out here to the road. <clears throat> okay, I uh, 
got this coffee container and the top half of a Coke bottle. My thoughts are, if I put my explosive charge B destroy B nest destroying device down here in the bottom, it will direct it toward the bee's nest in more of a one directional force. And I want to put it in here in the dirt and pack dirt all around it inside this coffee can to give this can more stability, more force, more strength so it doesn't blow the bottle up instead of sending all the force out this way. And then I'm going to tape this to the stick and stick it up there and set it off. Well, i got to do some wiring and stuff first, but I'm working on it. At least the rain finally stopped enough for me to to work on it today. It's chances of rain today still, but we'll see what we can get done. Okay, I'm trying to finish this gunpowder. And I've just been tapping on it. Gunpowder, the charcoal is like a sponge. It's like a Swiss cheese. It's got, you know, all kinds of holes in it if you looked under a microscope. And the sulfur and the salt, saltpeter are a finer grained molecule, whatever. So that's why they have gunpowder mills, is to mill it, to grind it, just like you grind wheat into flour. They have gunpowder mills. And what it does is that gunpowder mill pushes the sulfur and the saltpeter into the pores of that charcoal. And that's what makes gunpowder. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to break everything up as fine as possible to force those molecules of sulfur and saltpeter into the charcoal. If I want to, if I want to make it more of a, with, probably with more surface area, when I'm done pounding it down like this, I'll probably want to uh, wet it again a little bit with some water and then break it up again into granules like what's on top here which I'm trying to crush right now but then you can break it up into those granules and it give you more surface area for ignition make it burn faster and that's exactly what I'm trying to do now I've already done a burn test on this uh, just to show my sister homemade gunpowder and she was like oh yeah so yeah I'm just trying to make it faster just keep pounding it in there and I'll do this a few times more it's been I've been waiting for no rain so finally I've got no rain maybe I can blow these bees up today Alright, now that it got this <clears throat> all right now that I got this into a finer powder I'm gonna sprinkle some in here probably grind on it a little more but uh, I don't know if you can see that I've got it partially filled a little V trough I'm gonna set this up here on my Jeep probably right there Hopefully the wind doesn't blow it off. There hasn't been much of any wind. Set that right there and let it warm up a little bit, dry out a little more. And we'll do a test burn. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna give this a test and uh, 
If it burns fairly fast, I'll try granulating it or wetting it and regranulating it. Yeah, it doesn't burn too bad. I can still see some of the sulfur bubbling up in there. So maybe I'll grind on it a little more and then uh, try re-wetting it and then granulating it again and do another test. Blaster on there. And we're going to carefully try to set it up there. Okay, she's pointed at the nest. Cut my other wire and run like hell and go pull the string. Stick. Pull the string around. Can't undo it. Battery. Go. All right. Well, it's been about two weeks since I destroyed this bee's nest, and they've rebuilt. It looks like I'm going to have to get a little bit tougher. Huh. Yep. They got to go bye-bye. Next idea.